Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video and finally back on the hair videos for you guys. Uh, Fox locks or faux locks, however you say it. Um, everyone was telling me in my last, not my last video, but my next to last, if that makes sense, video that I was saying fox locks were on. It's faux locks or however you say it. But anywho, it's time for me to take it out. So in this video, I am just basically taking out my braids, well, take out my faux locks and um, show you guys a little mini wash day and just basically revert from this to my curly hair state. So if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, then please be sure to subscribe to my channel and let's go ahead and get started. It's time for me to take these out. Like, look at them. Look at this. Like, ew. All that build up and just gel and crap and dandruff and mm. another reason why i did want to take these out is because they're coming in loose like as you can tell like the the twist itself is coming in loose like the um cuban twist hair the thick like rough part here is um just coming in loose and it's just like really frizzy and down at the bottom i really like redid this myself because this part was coming in loose at the top and everything and it was just it was just a mess. I had these in for about two weeks and some days, so two and a half weeks. Um, I just thought it was time to take these out. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with the back, I guess. I really don't know how to take these out. So the person that did my hair didn't braid it. She just kind of like crocheted it in, I believe. She got this hair and then the Cuban twist hair and she just basically twisted the Cuban twist around the free twist hair to make it look more of a of like a dread you know fox like oh i did not even mean to do that did i do it right okay, let's see let's see let's see and i guess you just pull it out oh my god i'm scared oh, don't get stuck don't get oh, okay okay that wasn't too too bad basically take that little knot out down there and i just split the hair like that and then i just basically go the opposite way from where she wrapped the Cuban twist hair around the other hair and I'm just basically um taking it on loose like that since I really don't have to unbraid it or whatever I can just wrap, unwrap it and then just basically pull it out but honestly it depends on how the person that did your hair or if you did your hair um how they did it like some people they braid their hair well braid this type of hair first and then wrap this hair around but really she just crocheted it in so it's easier for me to take it out which um thank you girl because i didn't want to sit here for like hours and hours by just taking these out but this time i would just wanted to do something new and try something different since i always get the same hairstyle and i don't wear a weave i just do my natural hair and some box braids so yeah i just tried something different and these were bomb they were so cute but they just I guess because how I took care of them is my first time having them. They didn't last that long, me personally. If you guys ever had this type of hairstyle, let me know how it went. Like, did y'all like it? Did y'all not like it? Me having this hair, I oiled my scalp and to make sure it was like moisturized and everything. Like every so often, like every every other night and day, if that makes sense. Like I would do it one night and then didn't do it the next day but I did it the next day that morning. Like whenever my hair looked dry, where whenever my scalp looked dry, that's when I did it basically. But um, yeah, I did my last oil scalp massage um, two nights ago and my hair is still oily because I do have low porosity hair in my hair and my, like the oils and moisturizer just sits on my hair and it's just like warm. But I just basically put oil in a bottle and um, of warm water and just let it sit there and then I just put it all over my scalp. It's not hard taking these out. I thought it was gonna be like harder than it looked, but honestly, it's not really that. It's not really that much. I'm gonna just take my rat tuck home to find my rubber band to just pop it on out. But honestly, 
It's not really that hard to take these out. So I'm finished with half of my head and um, honestly, my arms are pretty tired. So, um, yeah, bro, we're just gonna go ahead and finish this other section. Okay, guys, I am so excited because I'm on my last one. Cut it above like that. And I just basically grab it from the top and kind of spread it on down so it can just kind of unloosen by its and then I just take the thick hair and go around just take it out like that and then I grab the other hair and take it out like that I grab my comb my rat tail comb and I get this row fan out and I just basically glide it down and as you can see I have a little bit of build up there so I'm just gonna kind of break through right here and then just start from the bottom make sure i don't have any of the left over from the bottom okay guys so now that i'm finished taking all of my fox locks out faux locks whatever out i am finally done and my hair is just really dirty right now like as you can tell that dandruff and build up and everything is just everywhere but i just want to show you guys how much hair i have that's literally like this whole section right here when i detangled because I didn't want my knots to still be in there while I wash my hair. So this is just how much hair I had. This is how much hair I actually had in my head. Like, crazy, right? Let's go ahead and go into the shower so I can just wash my hair really quickly. So first I like to rinse my hair with some water just to add some moisture back into it. For shampoo, I like to use the Shea Moisture Jamaica Black Castor Oil Strengthening and Restore Shampoo. I love using this shampoo for after I take out my protective style because it just helps strengthen my hair really well and I'm just putting this all over my scalp and just bringing it down to my hair just to make sure I get all that dirt and build up out. Now I'm just rinsing all of this out. I'm just going to go in with the Pantene Golden Series Moisture Boost Shampoo and this is also great for my hair because it just adds that moisture back into my hair and I'm just putting this all over my scalp and my hair just making sure I get it everywhere. Now I'm just rinsing it out. Now that I'm done shampooing, I'm just going in with the Sista, the Moisture Boost Conditioner, and I just put this all over my hair. And honestly, this just adds so much moisture back into my hair, and I just use a wide tooth comb just to spread it out evenly, and I just rinse it out. After rinsing out my hair, I'm just using the True Intense Treatment Mask, and this just helps restore and repair my hair, and I just take a whole glob of that, and I just put this all over my hair. And I just tie it up with a scrunchie and leave it in for about 30 minutes and I'll be back with you guys for the finished results. Curls on fleek, sister. Okay, so this is the end of my video. This is how my hair looks after me washing it if you guys want to see a full wash day routine then click that thumbs up and comment down below letting me know that you want to see a full wash day routine i am basically finished and i am glad i have my hair back it looks more fuller and voluminous and i just love my hair it's just so cute okay Okay. If you guys like this video, then please give me a big thumbs up. And if you guys are not subscribed already, then please be sure you are subscribed to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Chubby drive, look alive, look alive Niggas came up on this side, now they on the other side Oh, well